strawberry frappuccinos, and a black leather jacket. Chapter 23, My Queen Bee. Written and narrated by Eleanor Rose. Artwork provided by Marlene Bruce. Adrian scrolled through Instagram, waiting for Chloe to get back from the bathroom. They went to get a strawberry frappuccino for her and a chai latte for him, as per their post-date ritual. Her post seized his attention, but not by the image. Chloe's confession seemed... He didn't have a word. Classy? Tasteful? Open? She didn't make excuses or blame anyone. She changed over the last few years, and Adrian was grateful for it. The woman he was dating continued to amaze him, especially with the bravery she displayed over the last few days. <coughs> Did you see the concert? A DM from Ladybug's Twitter caught his attention. Yeah, he typed. It was pretty am- He froze. Fingers hovering as autofill suggested words. Wait. He was about to flirt with her. Adrian was about to flirt with a girl that wasn't his girlfriend. No. He deleted the text and tried again, but everything he came up with was either stone cold or a form of banter. Hesitating, he typed out his original text. It was okay. Actually, no. This was a good thing. While it was sad to think he didn't have the bantering chemistry with Chloe he thought he did, he also gained a new friend in the process. Why, he might even be chatting up a boy. A new best friend. People only address Ladybug as her because Lady was in her name. Maybe that's why he wanted to be so anonymous. He lost a part of his relationship, but gained a friend. An excellent way to look at it. Ha ha, were you there? Ladybug's question caught him off guard. As myself, or as a modern day civilian? You aren't some superhero, nor some noble from 1200 years ago, silly. You're only you. Yeah, I was at the concert. He smiled as another message bubbled. It's nice to think that we were in the same room together. Something on Tumblr? Chloe asked, plopping beside him. Just chatting with a friend, he said, tucking his phone away. I saw your Instagram post. Oh, that? She fluffed her hair and shrugged, taking a sip from her Tumblr. It was brave of you to do that, Chloe. She hesitated a moment. Ladybug wasn't there. Huh? Ladybug. She wasn't there. Well, she was there at first, but by the time I left the stage, she was gone. What do you mean? She knew who she was? Also, Ladybug is a girl. Confirmed. Who knows? She's probably talking about how I embarrassed her to Cat Noir or something. Cat Noir? Chloe, I wouldn't... Wait. Did Chloe not realize he was Cat Noir? She wasn't the only one with a misunderstanding to clean up. Wait. No. He told her. When they were talking about her hacking his account. I know you wouldn't do such a thing, but... You aren't everyone. It's a shame. I have an entire collection designed around his aesthetic, but I've been too scared to reach out to him. Um, Chloe? I'm him, remember? She froze for a moment, blinking in surprise. Oh, that's right. Yep. Wanna model for me? He laughed and nodded. Only if you buy me dinner first. Deal. She gave him a peck on the cheek, but he grabbed her wrist as she tried to stand up, pulling her in. His lips touched hers, gently at first, before a smile cracked between them. It was their only connection besides his fingers, 
but it was an intimacy that sparkled in sunlight. This was nice. I love you, he murmured, his second confession. I love you too, she said through her breath, taking his away. He wished he could kiss her, pressing his face to hers with passion as his fingers wrapped behind her neck, but they were in public. They grabbed their drinks and left to walk the boulevard, lit by streetlights and the waning sunlight. Despite the classic Parisian scene, Adrian felt a weight on his chest. Hey, he began, nervous. Yes? Her ponytail swung across her shoulders as she looked up. So, do you think I should stop talking to Ladybug? Huh? You know, as Cat Noir. We banter quite a bit, and to be honest, I've been flirting. Not to juggle women, but... He hated how it sounded. It's because I thought she was you. I mean, I know that sounds like an excuse, but I mean it, Chloe. I'm looking at you. Only you, I swear. I'm not mad, she said, squeezing his hand three times. How could I be? I'm at fault for that in the first place. But if you let me finish. He bit his lip, nodding. To be honest, yeah. I'm a bit jealous. I've met Ladybug and she's lovely. I'd date her if given the chance, but honestly, I can't steal from her any more than I have. Your banter as Cat Noir gets just as much attention as her designs do. You should take pride in that, Adrian. So yes, I might get the nasty gut feeling thinking about it, but I trust you more than that. You literally just proved that you're good amidst a fight or conflict. So as long as you remind me you love me and me alone, then we're good. Don't lose a friend to this. His muscles relaxed at her words. You were jealous. Uh, don't be cute. Her eyes narrowed as she huffed, glancing away. Huh. He stopped walking, catching her by surprise as their hands tugged against each other. Well then, I'll promise you this. No one else. No one else? No other girls or boys. Just you. I promise you, here now. There won't be anyone else I look at like the stars that shine except for you, honey. Honey? That's a new one. Well, you might not be Ladybug. He stepped to close the gap between them. But you're my queen bee. His cheeks were hot at how lame it sounded, but Chloe was a sap for romance. Okay, she said her eyes flicking to his lips. No one else. Don't ever be scared of asking either, okay? If you think I'm getting too close to someone, tell me. She leaned back, sighing. You're bad at recognizing that. I know, so don't think I'll ever get hurt. I appreciate you protecting me from my own obliviousness. Chloe squeezed his hand and turned to face the sidewalk with a smirk. I believe I owe you dinner? This late? <laughs> Why, my bug, you'll... He couldn't think of a good joke. Yes? I don't know. The joke ran away. So, dinner? Yeah. His lips parted into a grin. Dinner. That sounds perfect. They strolled into a bar, the sun all but gone. Yeah, this was perfect. Ending the day with dinner by his ladies, no, no, his queen's side. He couldn't ask for anything more. Adriana Grest was happy. Happy in an old relationship that felt like home.
A huge shout out goes to my patrons who help support the creation of this video. You can find more information at patreon.com backslash Mira Writes.